You find Nikki at the beginning of series 21 in two great episodes written by Ed Whitmore um, called Moment of Surrender. And she is in the aftermath of what has happened to her in Mexico at the end of series 20. I very much wanted to make reference to the fact that after such a huge traumatic event, being given the chance to live life again, that you would value it and appreciate it and want to live life to the full, but maybe in a slightly hyper energized way. So rather than playing Nikki depressed, she's full of sort of vitality. But in fact, then when she comes back, the reality is that things have changed for her and she's scared and she's seeing things in the shadows and her relationship with Jack is not reunited at all. So she's in a pretty traumatized state. She wants to return to work, but she knows that it's too soon and she knows that the others think it's too soon for her to return. Hi. What the hell are you doing here? It's a different episode to what we normally have with Silent Witness because it's a continuation of a story in a previous episode. You then see that play out through uh, more of the episodes in this series. So it's a slight departure from the norm, um, but we couldn't ignore how huge what had happened to Nikki was in Mexico. Mm -hmm.